This video is sponsored by Hobby Not Models. Check the link in the description below for more details. Hey, I'm John. Welcome to Mr. G's Workbench. In part three of the Magic Factory Corsair build, we're going to continue to build the F4U1A. And uh, today is all about the wings. So, uh, as I previously mentioned, uh, you can build one Corsair with extended wings, and the other parts in the kit are only for a folded wing set. So, uh, Thank you to John Colasante over at Matters of Scale, which you can find on Facebook, by the way. Uh, he turned me on to an article by Tom Cleaver at Modeling Madness that I will link down below in the description. Uh, he described how he changed the folded wings to another set of extended wings. So we're going to build both sets of wings today as extended. We'll see how that works, and uh, hopefully it comes out good, knock on wood, and we'll have two extended wing Corsairs when we're all done, all right? So uh, we'll jump into that. Uh, thank you for stopping in. Thank you to the over 4,200 people who subscribe to the channel. Uh, you have my sincerest appreciation for doing so. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, hopefully by the end of this video, I'll convince you otherwise. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and be notified every time I put out a new video. And uh, thank you as well to my channel member family whose names are scrolling up the screen as I speak. Thank you guys one and all for your additional continued support. It's very much appreciated. If you're interested in becoming a channel member, hit the join button down below and it'll take you to a link. It'll explain it to you. It's $1.99 US a month and uh, it's uh, extra help for the channel and it's very much appreciated. So thank you again, guys. And before we start, last but not least, big shout out to Mark at Hobby Nut Models, my sponsor for supplying the kit, as well as the Quinta instrument panels we used on this build. Uh, thank you very much, Mark. If you want to pick up one of these Magic Factory Corsairs, there's a link down below to Hobby Nut Models. Let's Mark know that you found out about his website through the channel, and uh, he can get you a Magic Factory Corsair. And good kit so far, so uh, hopefully by the end of this, we'll all be delighted with uh, the end result. So that being said, thank you again, uh, Mark. And let's jump into the build. We'll get the wings built up, and we'll see if this uh, folded to extended conversion really works. Let's take a look and see, all right? All right, let's kick off with the folded wing parts and the extended wing spar. So you can see this center, this is the lower center section of the wings. It's for the folded wing assembly. Internally, it's the same as the extended wing, except that it's broken down into pieces. That green part is the wing spar for the extended wings. Everything else you attach just as normally. You'll put the walls of the gear bays in, you'll secure them. They slot in really well. Uh, once you get some glue on them, they help to kind of shore up everything. There you go. You'll notice the, the glass is installed in that window down there. Uh, that's not going to matter. Uh, that window I'm going to be keeping clean. The one for the extended wing that's going to go on the 1A, I'm going to paint over that one. This one I'll mask off before I install it later on. Next thing I put the intakes in, the air intakes. Uh, they they slide into place again. The key to everything on this kit is just clean your parts up and install them. No fuss, no muss. Now I'm taking the lower wing section and I'm attaching it to that uh, extended wing spar. I'm using uh, Mr. Cement SP. It's just the black version so I could see where I'm slopping it around. And I'm constantly checking to make sure the wing is flush with that center section. Once you have that secure and it's all even, you can secure it with some more cement. You're good to go. Keeping everything lined up, I'm starting from the inside out when I do the top halves of the wings. 
So this is the section closest to the wing root. And again, as long as you take your time, that uh, upper section will slot into place. Hit it with some uh, extra thin. And it all, you can see here, uh, I don't have any real seams to speak of. And then I'm going to glue uh, the top of the wing to the gear bay sides. Here I'm just scraping off the, uh, the paint from the spar and from the uh, wing itself. Then you have to install these parts. They're E1 and E2. You glue them in to fill in that little slot there. And uh, once they're in, you're still gonna have to cut some pieces for this little section at the front out of styrene. You could also probably do it with some milliput uh, and make your life simple probably. And then you can see I've, I've applied some putty to where the E1 and E2 go in just to smooth everything out. Now I'm putting in the uh, gun bay covers. They drop in like a dream as long as you clean them up. Now the only issue with using the folded wing parts as an extended wing is that all your flaps and slats are going to have to be posed in the neutral position. Uh, I'm sure there's a way if you want to get adventurous to pose them down, but uh, I didn't want to take a chance on completely shitting this up. So all my flaps and slats on this uh, wing conversion are going to be neutral. Now, if you put the radar uh, thing in on the edge of the wing, I don't know if there's holes on the inside of the wing, but I use the directions on the outside, use the measurements, and it fit like a charm. So you can see here it worked fine. I'll show you at the end what it looks like. All right, now this is the extended wing parts and the folded wing spar. Here's the folded wing spar. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna clip these ends off and it just follow the frame and you can see right there and then you install it just like you do the extended wing spar it's just that it's a little shorter uh, i've kind of skipped ahead here because you've already seen how that worked i'm installing the uh the gun bays here and uh the tabs that the machine guns fit into inside the wing weren't very well defined so you got to kind of take your time here and uh, you'll be able to get these parts in lined up. My whole concern was getting these machine guns to be actually lined up with the, you know, parallel to each other. For me, the worst part of installing these machine guns into the wings was getting these feed chutes lined up properly. Uh, they, they're supposed to slot in, obviously, to the sides of the machine gun uh, receivers and then line up with the ammo trays. And they're just slightly obnoxious to deal with. If you can get the piece that slots into the machine gun done first, as, as you lay the, the chute down, it should slot into the uh, ammo tray. So, fingers crossed, it should work. Next come the ammo belts that lay down in the tray. Pretty straightforward. There's a hump in the middle of the belt that goes over that little center section that's raised up in each ammo tray. So it's kind of hard to mess up. And uh, they give you little pegs on the back that are supposed to slot into these holes. And I, I didn't really feel like they were doing much for me. So uh, I trimmed them down really low and had no further issues with them. 
Here I'm just applying uh, some panel liner into the uh, gear bay to give it a little more definition. And I mean, you know, it is what it is. Didn't do anything crazy. And then here I'm cleaning up. I applied the uh, panel liner to the insides of the bays and I'm cleaning it up with some uh, clear mineral spirits. And you can see here, this is the wing I'm gonna use on the 1A that we're building. Uh, the inside of that glass is painted and then obviously when I paint the outside, it'll cover the rest. Here you can see it even better. Now I'm showing you the step that I developed on the front edge of the right wing from about midway towards the wing root. And I think this had to do with, I had something in the gear bay for that side that wasn't lined up. It looks aligned up when I visually looked at it, but something was preventing that, that upper wing from uh, attaching to the lower wing assembly properly. And I'm sure that's on me. So, and then you can see here, the one uh, machine gun is kind of out of alignment now from all the fighting I did with that upper wing. Again, my bad and lots of sanding to make up for that. And I'm, I'm closing up the gun bay on the right wing because it looks like ass, uh, unfortunately. I'm, for now, I'm leaving the left wing open. We'll discuss that more later. Something I didn't specify earlier, but it goes without saying, as I've said a hundred times, clean up your parts, double check your parts fit before you put the wing tips on. Uh, they don't look perfect here. And I think after I shot this, I went back and pulled it off and redid it. They look good to me now. Uh, attaching the wing to the fuselage. If you get this section that I'm working on here, if you get that to fit properly, the rest of it'll drop into place, no effort. So I think I triple checked the measurements back here, triple checked the fit, and uh, once it all sat nicely, I glued it in. I used Mr. Cement SP Black for a quick bond, and I've also used it here on top of the wing roots. I didn't have to use any putty on this. I was very happy with it. So that's going to do it for today. Uh, I'm, I'm delighted with how this has come out so far. Uh, all of my problems with this uh, were just, I, I had problems with the getting this top wing on to the bottom. I didn't have to use a single drop of putty at the uh, wing roots here. The wings and fuselage joined up beautifully. And uh, if you're going to build one of these, I suggest you start by double check your fit down here. If that fits, you glue this section first down below and then fold it back on into the front. That gives you, if, if you have to fix anything, you'll have to sand a little here and here. And that's minuscule and it'll mostly be hidden by the cowl flaps when you're done. If you get a good fit here, you'll have a fine fit here. And that's what I did. So that's where I'm at with that. While I was at it, I repaired the tail hook I managed to break off. Uh, I connected it back on with some CA, and then I applied a little extra CA, came back and sanded it gently. Uh, since there's gonna be doors on the sides, you won't see the top where there's a little bit more CA than on the, the rest of it. But I'm very happy with that. This is probably some of the best work I've done, in my opinion. So. We got that. We got the wing for the Dash 2 ready to go when I get to that one. Uh, that one, I today I made a correction here. I realized after looking at photographs, the third machine gun on the right wing is, is not there. I had read that and I had completely forgotten about it. I plugged the hole for the third machine gun as I saw in reference photos, sanded it, and uh, it's nice and clean now. So that one's done. Uh, again, very happy with the way these came out. So, 
that's going to do it for today. Uh, next time we get together, it's probably going to be to finish up the uh, the tail. We'll do the uh, the rudder and the horizontal stabilizers back here. We'll finish up whatever other construction there is to do, the engine, the cowling, and stuff. That'll all probably get done in the next uh, uh, video so that we can move on to paint. All right. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. Uh, Hopefully, listen, if you enjoyed what you saw, give me a thumbs up, all right? Just click on the stupid thumbs up thing while you're watching me now, while we're discussing it. I do it all the time when I watch people on TV. It takes two seconds, literally. So do me a favor, okay? Be very much appreciated. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you, John Colasante, for telling me about Tom Cleaver's article. Thank you, Tom Cleaver, for writing the article. And uh, like I said, Link to all that stuff is down below. You can find John's uh, page, Matters of Scale, on Facebook. Uh, it's really cool. Be sure to take a look at it. He does some great stuff. So uh, thanks again for tuning in. Take care. Stay well. I will see you guys next time.